Hey everyone, so who besides me loves fall? This is my favorite time of year. In fact, my kids always want me to make popcorn bars. In fact, it's a must in a Hyde's household. And so I'm gonna be getting in the kitchen here in just a minute and we're gonna make some. So hang with me and we'll get the show on the road. And so we are ready to make our popcorn bars. And so what first thing you need to do guys is get two bags of um, popcorn, pop it and put it into a bowl about this size. And make sure that you um, sift through and get all the kernels out. Um, you don't want someone to bite down on a kernel. That has happened to me and I felt really bad about it. So let's don't do that. So um, put your popcorn into the bowl. Then you're gonna want a half a pound of um, dry roasted peanuts, put it in, and then a cup and a half of M&Ms, the, just the regular M&Ms, put that in. Whoops, and then we're gonna set our bowl aside. So as we head over to the stove, we are going to mix our caramel mixture. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna add your miniature marshmallows. And so that's a 10 ounce bag and you wanna pour it into your pan. And then you're going to mix a fourth a cup of canola oil and a fourth a cup of butter. And then this you kind of can play with. I put 30 pieces of caramel, but you can put more or less. It depends on what you want to do. And so there's my spoon. Let's put that inside. Okay. So you're going to turn your stove on to about oh, medium heat. Mix all of this together. As you can see inside, it's beginning to already kind of melt. So you're going to want to mix this until it is uh, melted. And it's going to take a little bit, guys, because there's a lot of butter and a lot of caramel. And so you need to stir constantly because you don't want it to stick. And once you come to a firm, firm, to a boil, I'll get it right here in a minute, to a boil, then you're going to pour it over your popcorn mixture. And so now our caramel mixture is ready. As you can see, yum, yum, it looks so good. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pour it over our popcorn mixture. Get it all that good stuff into the bowl. And then we're gonna mix it. Oh my goodness, that is one thing about caramel. I can never get enough caramel or chocolate and put it together and hey, you've got the best. Okay, it may stick a little bit to your pan. Let me turn this around so you guys can see it. And if it does, that's okay. We'll come back and get that in a minute. And so once it's in here, you're gonna stir until you get it blended. And it's gonna take a little bit and be very careful because that caramel is hot. So. You may want to put a, a glove on if you need it, but I always just kind of get my hands in it. And so um, stir it, and just keep stirring it <laughs> until it gets mixed well. And so we've got our mixture mixed together. And yes, it took a while to get all that ooey gooey yummy stuff mixed together. You're gonna to want to put it into a greased 11 by 14 Pyrex pan. Then take a piece of parchment paper and spray it, and then just start pressing down, because it's hot, guys. It's got that hot caramel on it. Until you get it like you want it, make sure you get it into the corners. I sometimes get my hands stuck in there too. It is warm. And it's gonna look something like this when you get finished. Isn't that pretty? We are going to let this cool 
and then we'll come back and we'll cut it into bars and um, I'll show you what it looks like then. Meanwhile, let's go check on Jack and Molly and see what they're up to. So, let's see what these two hounds are up to. Oh, well, there's Molly. Hey, baby, how are you? Jack and Molly are our basset hounds, guys. They're nine years old, and we've had them for about five years, and so they are spoiled rotten. But Molly, come here. You want to say hi to everybody? She's like, no. Come here. Let's get your brother up here. Jack. Jack. Jack is definitely all hound. All hound, constantly on the smell. Smelling for something. And so, guys, this is my favorite time of year. I was saying that earlier. Um, even though I enjoy canning and gardening and flowers and when everything is just really pretty, I still love this time of year. There's nothing like the cool, crisp air. I just love it. And um, look at Molly. She loves it, too. And so, it looked like Molly and Jack was having a blast outside. They love this time of year, and um, I do too. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut our popcorn cake. It turned out really good. It's gonna be kinda hard, so what I recommend, guys, use a pizza cutter. It works really well, and just press in. In fact, I'm just gonna cut a slice here. I'll do the rest of it later just so that I can show you guys what it looks like. There we go. Now that's really a really big piece, but I'll have to give that one to Richard. But as you can see, it's all colorful. Look at the M&Ms inside. Mmm, that tastes so good. Like I said, this is a must in the Hyde's household. The kids love it. And so, if you would like this recipe, um, Click the subscribe button and put recipes in the comments and I will make sure that you get one. Otherwise, guys, I will see you next Wednesday with another recipe from Susie's Secret Recipes. Happy trails. Hello there, guys. How are you doing? I get plenty and plenty of attention and love. Yes. Go out and play. Go play. Go play. Molly, oh, she's playing. Get that picture. <laughs>